During this period of uncertainty, I have felt an unusual gratitude for my sure and certain knowledge that Jesus is the Christ. Have you felt that way? There are difficulties that weigh upon each of us, but always before us is He who humbly declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. While we endure a season of physically distancing ourselves from others, we need never endure a season of spiritually distancing ourselves from Him who lovingly calls to us, Come unto me. Like a guiding star in a clear, dark sky, Jesus Christ lights our way. He came to earth in a humble stable. He lived a perfect life. He healed the sick and raised the dead. He was a friend to the forgotten. He taught us to do good, to obey, and to love one another. He was crucified on a cross, rising majestically three days later, allowing us and those we love to live beyond the grave. With His incomparable mercy and grace, He took upon Himself our sins and our suffering, bringing forgiveness as we repent and peace in the storms of life. We love Him. We worship Him. We follow Him. He is the anchor of our souls. Interestingly, while this spiritual conviction is increasing within us, there are many on the earth who know very little of Jesus Christ. And in some parts of the world where His name has been proclaimed for centuries, faith in Jesus Christ is diminishing. The valiant saints in Europe have seen belief decline in their countries through the decades. Sadly, here in the United States, faith is also receding. A recent study revealed that in the last 10 years, 30 million people in the United States have stepped away from believing in the divinity of Jesus Christ. Looking worldwide, another study predicts that in the decades ahead, more than twice as many will leave Christianity than those who will embrace it. We, of course, revere the right of each to choose, yet our Heavenly Father declared, This is my beloved Son. Hear Him. I witness that the day will come that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Christ. How are we to respond to our changing world? While some are neglecting their faith, others are searching for the truth. We have taken upon ourselves the name of the Savior. What more are we to do? I promise you that as you prepare yourselves, as President Nelson, President Nelson did, you too will be different, thinking more about the Savior speaking of Him more frequently and with less hesitation as you come to know and love Him even more deeply. Your words will flow more comfortably as they do when you speak of one of your children or of a dear friend. Those listening to you will feel less like debating or dismissing you and more like learning from you. You and I speak of Jesus Christ but maybe we can do a little better. If the world is going to speak less of Him, who is going to speak more of Him? We are, along with other devoted Christians. In the days ahead, those who believe in Jesus Christ will need the friendship and support of one another. As the world speaks less of Jesus Christ, let us speak more of Him.